hello Belvinas. welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make a basic a-shaped skirt okay now over here i have this stretchy lycra material so you want to ensure that you make your fold so that the circumference part will be on the part that stretches the most okay you can actually use this other side this other side stretches also but not very well i'm making that side as my length while the most stretches part is going on my fold to give me my second fences and my width all right over here i've made um my waist hip line above the knee line and of course my full length line and because it's an a-shaped it's going to be slanting outwards at the sides and over here i've made my fold 20 inches wide i normally use 20 inches for whenever i'm making an a-shaped um, skirt like this or dress so that it can come out very well but if your core you can make it lesser or wider than this the thing i'm going to do is to mark out my round waist measurement which here is eight inches then i go over to the hip and i mark my hip measurement which is nine and a half and as usual when i get to the above the knee part I minus one inch so nine and a half minus one whatever you have at your hip le level here you minus one inch at the above the knee so you since I'm having nine inches here nine and a half inches on my hip minus one will give me eight and a half inches here at my above the knee point all right so I'll be connecting all my lines together over here now this, because this is a stretchy fabric there is no need of you adding too much allowance to it okay but to be on the safer side i'm just going to be adding just one inch seam allowance you can actually cut out exactly on this line without any seam allowance because it stretches we call that cutting on the negative okay cutting on the negative means you are not adding any seam allowance because of the nature of the fabric even if you do not add any seam allowance and you go ahead to sew exactly on the line it will still come out well in fact as a matter of fact you may even still have to hold it inwardly because it stretches very well but i'm just going to be adding one inch seam allowance to it before i finish sewing you'll see that it has extended beyond that one inch okay then from this seam allowance line here at the above the knee point i'm going to draw a straight line slanting outwards to the full length line at the very edge there so you want to use your ruler for that please to make it draw a very straight line all the way down to that full length point at the very edge there okay this is my line and that will be all down there is no that attached to it there is no need for you attaching your dart okay but i'm just going to marking it four inch so you don't have any need attaching your dart to it you just go ahead and cut it out and that will be all for your A-shaped pencil skirt. This is the front piece. Then we'll go ahead to make our back piece. This is my front piece well cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and fold my other material to make the back piece. Now this is my front piece. I have folded my fabric again into two on the stretchy side. And I've placed my front piece. As you can see, I have in the middle front here, from my front piece, I have about 7 inches extra wide okay and at this other end here i've made it equal with this my fold here and also at the full length level here i'm going to be trimming this off later i have also seven inches that was extra this is because of my train so for my train for the back piece which carries my train i'm still going to make the same shaping for my sides now there are other different methods of making your a shaped skirt with a train at the back but this is a simple method i've adapted for beginners like i said in the introduction video if you are on my whatsapp and telegram groups i feel i'm going to be using simple methods so that you can understand better all right so from this is the above the knee point at the back piece i'm going to make extra one inch for the zip allowance okay then from this one inch that I've made here, I'm going to be slanting, drawing a slanting line 
to this very edge here at the full length that I extended to 7 inches. So I'm going to be drawing a slanted line all the way down there at the full length side. Okay, now let's go back to our main skirt. Now this will help give me the train. For this other part of the train, this side here, where the front will be meeting the back at the sides, has to be equal. So from here, I'm going to be drawing a curved line all the way to the full length line here. Okay? So this, my train, will be decently long um, enough. You want to have a longer and wider train. That means you, you have to increase this back place here on your fold. So yeah, you can increase this to as much as 15, 20 inches, depending. The more wider you increase it, the more fuller your train will be, longer your train will be. And also at the full length line here, you also have to increase it. But always ensure that this edge is the same and it's curved out. Don't go and draw a straight line. Remember here we do a straight line, also here we do a straight line. But at the full length line here, it's always a curve. It comes out better with a curved line here, not a very straight line down here like this. It's better you do it on a curve. So now I'm going to be removing my front piece. Okay? And the rest of this will give me my back piece of the skirt. So I'll just go ahead and cut out on the border lines. Okay, remember that this full length line should go on a curve like this and meet with this other side here. Then I'll go ahead and cut the remaining lines. So now I'll go ahead and sew this out using half an inch allowance, one inch here rather, because of my zipper allowance, I give her one inch. Then here I'm going to sew slanting outside as well. You can actually make this skirt without fixing a zipper because it stretches. But I advise you, you put your zipper before closing it in just for ease sake. Alright? And then you attach your front piece to it and then sew using one inch seam allowance or as it will fit. What is stretching nature? Thanks for watching till I come away.